rifle is much larger, again, for strength, and it will require a special barrel, which we'll, we, we do or will sell. Um, but the, the one thing that you shouldn't do with these irons that you can do with many of our other irons is bend for uh, lie, as uh, any lie alteration will probably crack the hosel. And the further cut down on the cost and make these as economical as possible, these wool caps uh, quite the same tight manufacturing tolerances as our other models. Uh, but at least there's a matching film coil graphite shaft to round out this set. That's, that's the tour gear collection. Now let's move on to the wedges. Last year we introduced our Acer XC model, which was a blade style model with a twist. We added an undercut channel or channel is what I like to call it for some added game improvement. Well this year we're coming out with our Acer XB where the B stands for blade. This series combines the tradition, the beauty, the elegance and so forth that you've come to expect from a blade style wedge. We have the classic teardrop shape, the tapered hosel, a uh, very minimal offset, and the thin top line and the narrow sole. As a matter of fact, it's the next generation of our professional open series, which has been extremely popular for the past decade now. We wanted to make these compatible for a wide uh, segment of golfers in course conditions as possible, which is no easy task. So we have our medium width four-way camber sole with moderate pounds. Nothing out of the ordinary. And we added this uh, custom feet grind sole. Now what this does is allow the uh, face to be open when needed for like flop shots or you know doing creative shots like that without uh, making the leading edge uh, rise too high off the ground and end up blading the ball. But what I think is the greatest attribute is that no other set of wedges are as complete or as versatile as the Acer XB wedges. There are as many as eight different locks to choose from uh, providing anyone the tool management of their short game. For instance, many golfers are quite content with the standard 52, 56, and 60 degree set makeup. We got you covered there. We we'll also have the harder, if not impossible, to find higher lofted wedges like 64 and even 68 degrees for those high, uh, little delicate uh, shots when you need to have the ball land softly. But with so many pitching wedges on the market being manufactured with, with 46 degrees aloft, I think it makes more sense for golfers to carry the trio of 50, 54, and 58 degrees instead. And that's something we have in this line. This way you have a nice separation in your distance without gaps from your game improvement irons, and you can still cover the majority of shots you're going to encounter on the golf course on any given day. And I might be a little biased here, but the appearance I think is equally as impressive. We're offering these in four different finishes. We have our maintenance-free satin. We have this brilliant high polish. And there's a toss-up between two of my favorites, which is the majestic pearl chrome and this elegant non-glare matte black finish. Next, we're going to be off to the putting surface. As we have several new putters this year that are going to hopefully lower your score. So we might as well start out with the most innovative of all the models, and that's our Dynecraft Online. Now, if you ever get ideas like, wow, how come someone didn't think of this before? Well, this was one of those moments for me when I developed this putter. For starters, the, the face balance mount design offers plenty of heel and toe weighting to ensure the ball rolls straight on its intended target line like it should. But 
But this isn't just an ordinary putter. You see, the online is a multifunctional putter. That's right. Now, I don't intend to sound like uh, Pitchman Billy Mays and say it chops, it, it, it cuts, it dices, it and julienne's fries, but it does align, it putts, it scoops, and marks your balls. The size of the horseshoe shaped opening was selected not only to act as an extremely effective alignment guide, but you can also scoop up the ball without bending over. Now, if you have a bad back, just lazy or both like me, well, finally, no more bending over to pick up the balls on the practice screen. Hey, I might even practice longer now that I don't have to hassle around with picking up missed pucks. But if you look closely, there's two slits on either side of the putter. Now, with the ball cradled uh, while the putter's suspended in the air, these two slits are going to coincide exactly with the equator of the ball. All you have to do is take your Sharpie pen, and you can um, you can mark lines on both sides of the ball for alignment. So there's no more digging in your bag looking for that ball marker tool that's built into the online putter. You'll pro this is probably a helpful tip if you're using it to mark your ball. The best thing I found was just um, push down with your thumb on the ball and this will stop the ball from moving, and then you can mark the nice straight lines on the, uh, on, the, on the ball. So let's recap. You can align, you can putt, you can pick up, and you can mark the ball. The Dynacraft online putter does it all, except maybe Julian Fries. Okay. There's some products that take a little bit more explaining than others. And our Acer MC4 putter is really no exception because it is a unique concept. The MC and the MC4 name is short for Modernized Classic. The basic shape is a classic blade style heel shafted putter that you don't find uh, everywhere. But then again, we'd like to provide our customers with some variety. Plus, there's a certain group of uh, players that like that unpretentious look at a dress. If you look back in time, these types of putters have long been associated with golfers who have an arched, an inside a square, open gate, closed gate, or inside out putting stroke, just to name a few names. Examples that come to mind of people with these types of putting strokes are Ben Crenshaw and Phil Mickelson. This is the opposite of the straight back, straight through putting stroke that the modern face, uh, face balance mouth is designed to encourage. Now, it may not come as a surprise, but the arch putting stroke is actually much more natural for the majority of golfers. If you want to find out what kind of putting style you have, take a yardstick and place it behind the heel of your putter, uh, like this picture.